Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cheesy! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. in Beijing. In Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on. If memory serves me right, last time, the Liang brothers invaded the kitchen stadium. In front of the eyes of his older brother, Xu Neng, Liang Xu King demanded a battle with, of course, Chen Kenichi, the supreme Chinese battle. As a theme for this war, I chose the perfect ingredient, pork belly. And what magic did they show us? Watching his brother in the kitchen, Liang Xu Neng in the royal box said, I thought he was scrambling, but now I know he's in control. He's using pie crust, which is a new trend in Chinese cuisine in Hong Kong. A great idea. Liang Xu King, a Cantonese master, went beyond the limit to create five dishes. I asked the Iron Chef about this dish that has created so much interest in our guests, and all he would tell me was that it is a classic Sichuan dish. Fighting back, Iron Chef Chen Kenichi put forth the prize of Sichuan food with these five sublime dishes. And after the fierce battle, the verdict was... And now this incredible matchup goes to a 30 minute overtime battle. So now we go into overtime. With whatever you have left in you, show us an all out battle. したがっ
延長戦のテーマはこれです延長戦のテーマはこんにゃく。All right, we are in overtime here in Kitchen Stadium. The Chinese cuisine gods have decreed that challenger Leon and Iron Chef Chen battle an additional 30 minutes after the pork belly battle ended in a tie. And from the supreme to the subtle, now it's Konyaku in overtime. Opening gong sounds for this overtime session and an amazing battle it's been today. They came, they cooked, neither could conquer, and now in overtime. Incredible, right, Hattori? Uh, it's been a fantastic contest, yeah. Wow. And now the theme ingredient for these men trying to climb the summit of Chinese cuisine is konyaku. Now, just where does konyaku fit in Chinese cooking? Well, konyaku is a potato starch product, and it's jelly-like in texture, mm -hmm. and it's purely Japanese. There is no Chinese equivalent. Uh, I assume, though, there, there is a frozen version in Chinese. Kusan. Yes, Ota, how are you holding up? Hey, I'm excited. And I asked the Iron Chef how he feels about going into OT. And he said, well, honestly speaking, I was going against Xu King Lian, and I had my doubts about my chances, but a tie has given me new confidence that I can All beat right. him, and I'm going for a win. For sure. But with only 30 minutes in overtime, I'd say two, maybe three dishes. Even three will be tough for them to make, as the challenger now thinking again what to do with the Konyaku and the Iron Chef. Don't know yet what he's up to over there. Fukui-san? Yes. I also spoke with the challenger about the overtime, and he said, whatever, it makes no difference to me. You want overtime, you got it. I'm not as young as my opponent, but I've still got plenty left to see this through. I'm going to finish him this time, both men full of confidence. All right, the competitive fire is still burning, and now our guests have made it back from the tasting table. You guys <laughs> ran back down here. Keiko Saito, Yoshizumi Ishihara. Oh, my. Saito-san, looking at the scores, you had the Iron Chef winning 19 to 18, right? Yeah, it was so tough. I just thought the Iron Chef was slightly ahead in terms of his combination of traditional and unique dishes, so... Mm, okay, mm, on the other hand, Ishihara-san, you scored it in favor of <laughs> Challenger Leon. You had him winning by a score of 19-18. Yes, either one could have won. To me, it was just the approach taken toward the dishes. Cantonese versus Szechuan. I like them both, but this time I raised my hand to the fine and intricate flavoring of Cantonese. Mm. It was no easy task, though, until I voted for the Challenger. All right, well, that you did. Yes. About the theme ingredient, cognac, the challenger, Leanne, just keeps mumbling, cognac, cognac, in 30 minutes. Well, all right, I'll see what I can do. Well, these men might be a little lost right now. The verdict came down only a few minutes ago. They're going to have to gather themselves, gear up again mentally. And I guess they can do that while they're chopping the cognac. The challenger and his brother still looking on. Kusan? Yes. I also talked to the Iron Chef about today's theme, and he said mm -hmm. it's not a matter of whether konyaku is difficult or not. You've got these poor tasters who just ate 10 courses of pork <laughs> to consider, although konyaku is difficult. All right, well, you guys are porked out. Yeah, he's right. I've got pork on my brain and in my belly. <laughs> well, konyaku, though, is very healthy, as we know. Yeah, no calories. Right, none whatsoever. It's nice that he's thinking about us. Just what the doctor would order after all the high-fat content dishes. Now the Iron Chef twisting some white and black konyaku pieces. Uh, something stewed, right? Oh, it's just like we have in lunch boxes. Right, yeah. All Japanese would know what this could be. Actually, it's going to be a stew and something with it, perhaps. That could be it. Now, we're going to move on over to the challenger's side and take a look at what he's doing. Something completely different. Uh, yes, go ahead. Ham. There is a rumor that the challenger will be using winter melon again. This time, too? Yes, but no news yet as to whether he'll be carving on it. Okay, referring to that melon shell for the soup in the earlier battle. Challenger Leon Shukin, the master chef at Togu Restaurant at Hotel Nico Tokyo. And if you just joined us, we are in overtime. Fukuisan? Yes. I asked the challenger about his tactics here in overtime, and he said, whatever you make with konyaku, the flavor must seep in well. Right. So I'm chopping it up into smaller pieces. Konyaku is an advantage to Sichuan cooking, but never used in Cantonese dishes. Mm. Ah. Mm. That's Actually, uncharted right. terrain. Yeah, a lot of Japanese chefs tear the konyaku into small pieces by hand to get that effect. All right, and look at that side angle slicing as he has Chinese ham and also dried shrimp and other items in there to 
Use with all the small konyaku pieces. I think he's working on a soup for the flavoring is what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of the standard traditional mm -hmm. way, but it's also the best way to enjoy that ingredient. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Yes, Oka. I have some comments from the challenger's brother, Lian Shuneng, who says it was a good battle so far. My brother did very well in a kitchen he's not familiar with, but he's getting used to it, and if he keeps up the good work, he'll pull off a win. All right, backing him all the way, and let's go back and ourselves to the pork belly battle and check the scores. First, uh, Shinichiro Kurimoto, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. Keiko Saito, 1918 Iron Chef. Two votes for the Iron Chef there. Yoshizumi Ishihara, 1918 Challenger. Kazuko Hosoki, 1817 Challenger. Two votes for the Challenger, and the total points tied at 74, so we are in overtime. That's why we find ourselves here in OT. Okay, now watch the Challenger here. He's gonna fry this. Now, this is a great idea. It's mm. really smart, because you need to chase out the water in the konyaku so they can absorb ah. more flavor. Okay, good point, Hattori. He's getting that oil heated up. Shukuisan? Yes. In a bowl here on the Iron Chef side, let's see if we can get a look at it. Here it is. Okay. Uh, he's combined ground chicken meat, Chinese rice wine, water, ginger, egg white, soy sauce, cornstarch, salt, and sesame oil, and he's now deep frying that. Okay, chicken meat balls there. It kind of sounds like it, yeah, but there's no konyaku in there. And that means what? Well, he could be putting this together with konyaku later, perhaps in a stir fry or something along those lines. Okay. As you know, 30 minutes is so short. Right. Uh, both chefs are working so swiftly. Yeah, I really wonder how many dishes they actually make. Already eight minutes are gone. Wow, already. Oh, only 22 <laughs> minutes left in this 30 minute mm. overtime battle. But challenger Leon Shukin appears calm, very much in control, almost working in a slow down pace. Fukuisan? Yes. I asked the challenger for more info on his konyaku strategy, and he said mm -hmm. it's a simple approach. You either stew it or stir fry it. But he repeated that 30 minutes for konyaku is really tough. 30 minutes, not enough for Konyaku in his view, but he still looks to be in command of the situation, I'd looks say. Looks like the challenger is getting used to this. Yeah, well, it's a second time. What do you think? Fukuisan. Go. The challenger has just finished frying some items in the pan above. The, there it is. Uh, okay. Black Konyaku, sake, soy sauce, cornstarch, seasonings, eggs, and Chinese ham. All right, got it. And we also see some stir fry action nearby. Early in the short overtime, flames in the kitchen as he works the walk. Okay, he's got some sort of mushroom here, some scallions and some other Fukuzan? things as well. Yes. Yes, these new ingredients in the Challenger's Walk are garlic, ginger, hot and spicy sauce, mushrooms, scallions, dried shrimp and soup. Wow, sounds good. Sizzling there. Challenger Leon Chukin again, master chef of Chinese cuisine at the Hotel Nikko Tokyo, one of the top hotels in town. And his older brother Shunen, the master chef of the Chinese restaurant at the famous Hotel Okura. The Leon brothers, literally the leaders of Chinese cuisine chefs in Japan. Chukin showed his stuff in the pork belly battle. Now in overtime, this a battle for the ages. Fukuisan. Yes. I've been talking to Chef Yamaoka, who's here in the Royal Box, and he said it's been an amazing battle so far between Cantonese and Sichuan, and I know they're probably exhausted after that first 60 minutes, but I hope to see another good cook-off here. The master chef from the Hotel Century Hyatt, not only the Chinese chefs, but also hotel industry people across the country are watching this battle. Fukuisan. Yes. Here in the Iron Chef's Walk, he's got the chicken meatballs that he was deep frying a minute ago, if you remember. Remember, right. to which he has added white and black konyaku scallions, ginger soup, and soy sauce. Yes, up close right there. Okay, now the difference between the black and white is the black one has seaweed powder in it, hence oh. the color. Oh, okay. oh yeah. all right. Yes, but for Japanese people, konyaku is usually boiled. Right? Yeah, or served with hot and spicy sauce, you know, stir-fried. If you want to enjoy the texture, though, this can be done in many ways. It can actually be a replacement of meat, use it as a substitute. Yeah, that's right, like some kind of diet food, huh? Right, exactly, and it's also very, very healthy. All right. Fukuisan. Yes. The challenger has just finished his first dish, the one with the garlic, ginger, hot and spicy sauce, mushroom, scallions, dried shrimp, and fried black konyaku. Plus, he's added oyster sauce, salt, and sesame oil to it. Wow, oh, this looks good. Mm. Oh, and the aroma is rising up to our <laughs> broadcast booth here. Mm, oh, yeah. Good. So that's one dish done already. Right, yeah. It's one dish down and done for Challenger Leon. Okay, now he has used konyaku like the dried items that they use often. Okay, first time around with konyaku and one dish out of the way. Now the Iron Chef there shouting something to his assistants. Mmm. Mm. Sliced and diced konyaku. Yeah, another similar way of dealing with it. Looks good, too. And and what's he using? Chinese ham in there, too? Well, actually, it looks more like regular ham. Okay, with very small pieces of diced konyaku. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he going to wrap this, do you think? Hmm, don't know, but at this point, uh, let's go over to Ota. He's up in the royal box and get some words with Lian Shuneng. Ota? 
Thank you. So, Lian Shu Ning, yes. what do you think of this overtime battle so far? Uh, I think my brother has settled down. Compared to the previous battle, uh -huh. we'll see some great dishes, I think. And if he's improving, that could mean a win then. Well, that's obvious. Okay. Yes. If you could tell your brother anything right now, what would you say to mm. him? Keep it up. Okay, thank you. And I'll send it back to you, Fukui-san. Okay, well, big brother Shuneng staying the course behind his younger brother, Shu King. You know, they actually kind of look alike, don't they? <laughs> you know, they're, they're look-alikes and cook-alikes. <laughs> The younger of the two brothers, and right now Shu King has something being boiled. Actually, I think this is a soup. A soup? Well, there goes the soup. <laughs> I guess he's just seasoned it, huh? And the way he cut them was a little different from the Iron Chef. Yeah, it almost looks like calamari. Right, it is. It's squid. Ah, is it going to be sashimi? Sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, Iron Chef side now, on to the plates. Okay, a carpaccio of konyaku, like a calamari carpaccio. Mmm, a subtle dish he's going to make, The key should be the sauce. Right, exactly. Because konyaku in and of itself basically is flavorless. Go ahead. When I told the Iron Chef that 15 minutes had almost passed, he said, huh, get out of here, already? <laughs> All right. Oh man, time is flying, but I'm not having much fun. Too much pressure, he sounded like he was going to cry. Is this his first it, overtime? It sure is. Yeah. It's his first time in overtime, and right there, dried bonito shavings. Ah, oh, fried rice, maybe? Fukuzan. Take it. Now in the Iron Chef's walk, he has bacon, black and white konyaku, red chili, soy sauce, and dried bonito shavings. All right, yes, Saito-san, if you added rice, you would have fried mm. rice. Yeah. But he doesn't have any time to boil rice. Well, it still could be nice wrapped up in vegetables, maybe. Oh, yeah, that would be all right. Fukuzan, go ahead. Over here in the Challenger's Walk, he has shredded the winter melon and added crab, broiled red, yellow, and green bell pepper. The colors jump out from this one, don't Are they? Are the chrysanthemum leaves uncooked? To go. Already 15 minutes gone, half of OT gone, 15 minutes left. These are the edible chrysanthemum leaves. And yeah. they're uncooked, mm, right? A salad, chrysanthemum salad, okay. right? Okay, and the bonito flavor, that'll be a key element of this one. Yeah, a touch of Japanese flavor. So the Iron Chef has already finished one creation. Ah, so fast. <laughs> a dish with ham and konyaku diced and stir-fried with the Japanese flavor, one Squeeze out up. of the way, yes. I asked the challenger how many dishes he's going to make, and he said, Two, only two. He said, I only have 30 minutes and I don't want to rush and make mistakes. Okay, quality, not quantity. And he starts working on the second dish there. Ooh, this looks so pretty. And so colorful. <laughs> and this is how he's going to use the shredded konyaku on dish number two. Okay, using the same approach as the Iron Chef here. And when you don't have time, it's best to rely on stir frying in the wok. Right, don't your you best so? bet, yeah. And another one ready? Are you kidding? The second one done already? Uh, is that it? The challenger's completed two? Huh? What's this? Konyaku what? and vegetables stir-fried. Fukui-san. Okay. Here in one of the Iron Chef's bowls, we have chi mahjong and soup. Huh? What? Huh? Okay, now that's a sesame-based sauce. Sesame miso, so to speak. And this okay. is going to be the sauce for the sashimi he was making before. Uh, Fukui-san. Yes, go ahead. Remember the challenger was stir-frying shredded winter melon, crab, red, yellow, and green bell pepper? Right. Well, he finished that dish by adding white konyaku, salt, sugar pepper, oyster sauce, and cornstarch. So now he's completed two dishes, and I asked him if he was going for a third, and he said, I guess I have a chance, so why not? And he's going for it. Wow. <laughs> In overtime, <laughs> only 30 minutes, half gone already, and he's going for a third dish. <laughs> wow. Endurance, no problem. He's holding up. Definitely a chef of stamina here. Leon, now on the Iron Chef side. Okay, this is the sauce that Saito-san, you bet, was the sauce for the sashimi, I think, right there. Yep, I think so. I hope I'm right. So it's a sesame sauce, is that right? Um, if memory serves me correctly. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> right. Fukui-san? Yes. The sauce in this glass bowl is actually a mixture of three or four sauces. Sesame sauce, soup, hot and spicy sauce, and a type of bean sauce. All right, got it. And the challenger, woo, it sure looks like calamari there. Yeah, it definitely has that squid look to it. Just like squid. Leon already working on his third dish. He's going to have three dishes. Don't know exactly how many the Iron Chef's working on or he'll end up with. Working that sauce now, and some meatballs are cooking right there. Uh, meatball? And this is going to be, oh right, yeah. Braising these almost. Oh, okay, yeah, this looks good. Konyaku scallions and meatballs, a stewed or braised item again. Chen Kenichi's first overtime battle, and he too in uncharted waters with this. Ah, sour plum paste? And the challenger goes for the sour plum paste, Ume, on his third dish. Ah, he's going to, like, spread this onto the konyaku and eat it like sashimi, no? Well, that, well that's not Chinese. <laughs> that one won't fly. <laughs> but you could be right in saying he's trying to make something like sashimi without cooking it too much. 
So Chen has three dishes too? Well, he's got the braised Cuisine? item. Yes, go ahead. The Iron Chef says he's shooting for three dishes too, but says of the Challenger's three that it's just a coincidence. He says he's working at his own pace, which just happens to be three items. Okay, he won't fall behind. Both men gunning for three dishes. Okay, what's this one? Hmm, not too familiar with this. Slicing something... Cuisine? Yes. The Challenger is slicing water oats. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a member of the rice family. Could have fooled me. Is it like a bamboo shoot? No, no, not really. It's more of a wild ten rice. Ten minutes to go. Man alive already. Ten minutes to go. Just ten minutes left. The first 20 of this 30-minute overtime battle have just whizzed by like nothing. And now the Iron Chef checking on his konyaku meatballs and scallion stew. I'm sure he's got a shorter name for it. <laughs> a taste test, and he looks like he's satisfied with it. What and do you say? Look, look, looks like a Japanese stew. Yes, like the traditional oden. And now what is he doing? Well, he's tasting it, or maybe he's just hungry after all this work, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all this... Okay, so the, the challenger's using, what is this, field pea buds? All right, what? challenger side, we'll what? switch over there. And uh, yes, some veggies. What are they? Ota? Ota, come oh. in. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's field pea buds. He'll put some dressing on this? Uh, he'll probably put them together with the thinly sliced cognac we had a minute ago. All right, let's go back and check out on replay, adding sour plum paste. Okay, sour plum paste. Ah, yeah. yes. And what's this? Oh. Colored oh. like soy sauce. Actually, yeah, it looks like it. Squeeze OT getting to you? Where you been, Ota? <laughs> Sorry, I've been researching these ingredients, but you already know them. Uh, black and white cognac, sour plum paste, field pea buds, red vinegar, and red wine. Okay, it's red vinegar. Okay, that's a Cantonese vinegar. All right. So this is a subtle dish. So it's a salad, this one. Right, mm. a salad, a really light salad. Squeeze With on. the vinegar dressing. Yes, go ahead. When I told the challenger that there was less than 10 minutes left, he said, well, how can I put this? Everything's cool, copacetic, no problemo, I got it covered, I'm cool, he I'm on a roll. I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe he's on a second wind. Time to go for you a know, part. I don't have any stats in front of me, but I can't recall anybody making four dishes in overtime. It kind of looks like both chefs are trying to make a subtle flavor to dishes. Cuisine? Yes. I'm back on the Iron Chef side, and do you remember the sesame sauce that yes, he was making? Right. Well, it's more than just sesame and bean sauce, soup, hot and spicy sauce. It also has another type of bean sauce, oil, sugar, red miso, tin min wow. sauce, sesame vinegar, wine vinegar, and red vinegar. And when he overheard that the challenger was using red vinegar, he said, oh, thanks for the idea. Okay, a tip <laughs> from his opponent. And how'd you remember all that? Amazing, Ota. A special sauce indeed for the raw item that he's preparing. Okay, now look here. This challenger has started something. Another one. What? No, come on. Now, th this is the third one, right? Just the third. Oh, oh yeah. Oops. Okay. okay. And the red wine there going into the salad that he's making. Fukuisan? Yes. Into the bowl that contained the konyaku, sour plum paste, field pea buds, and red vinegar, he's added red wine, radish, and wild rice. And so, yes, he has added red wine to it. That's what it is, Doc. Okay, well, he, I got a little confused there. He only has three. He was just adding it's something to really the third one. It's really interesting to watch the challenger carefully checking the taste. He's never made these dishes before. Right, he said Fukuisan? he's never used this ingredient. Yes, go ahead. I asked the Iron Chef whether he was tired after working for an hour and a half, and he said, tired? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm tired. <laughs> but I can't think of about that right now. I'm trying to keep the adrenaline flowing. All right, so fatigue beginning to set in. Chen sweating up a storm. For the second time, he cooled down during the tasting and judgment of the pork belly dishes. And the challenger's third dish out of the mixing bowl onto the plate here. So tell me, what do you think this would taste like? Well, I, I think I know, but I can't be 100%. Mm, something was familiar, but I'm just not quite sure. We'll just have to try it, I guess. Could be something totally different, though. The Challenger's dishes are all originals. I mean, they're all a first for him today. Right, yeah, no doubt about that. Nothing like konyaku in Chinese cuisine. Is he cuisine. using it the same way, uh, you know, similar to another Chinese ingredient? Actually, I think he is, but all different for all three dishes. So one for each dish, dish, I guess. I I don't know. Perhaps in place of meat or in place of a dried item, yeah. Yes, go. I told the Iron Chef that he only has about five minutes left, and he said, no problem, I'm fighting this to the very end, and I have a grand finale to prepare. Where are my helpers, he said. No reason to hold back now, and here's something being opened uh, up. Okay, this yes. This is red fermented tofu. Okay, fermented tofu. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah, fermented tofu tastes a lot like cheese, really. Huh? Five minutes to go. Okay, five minutes left. Okay, now he's put the fermented tofu in this one in, here. In this one here? Less than five minutes to go, and yes, it does start to thicken. Much thicker now and looking real delicious. My mouth's watering right now. You know, you two tasters may be full, but Hattori and I are working overtime. We didn't have a chance to eat anything after the pork belly battle ended in a tie. 
tell you what. You two are full. Can we do the tasting? I this understand time? what you mean, but yeah, can we taste it also? Come on. Fukuzan, go ahead. Believe it or not, the challenger has so much time now that he's done with his third dish that he's actually debating whether to shift into overdrive and go for another one. What? Whoa. You know, there's only four minutes and 20 seconds left counting down. There's not enough time. I mean, he could work on presentation, but not start another one. I don't think he'll dare try anything else. Just no way to get it done. I mean, if he could complete one, that would be an unbelievable feat. And the challenger right there slicing, and now the Iron Chef with the oil. Actually, that's a sauce for one of the items. Yeah, sauce. Fukuzan, go. The Iron Chef is using olive oil here. Olive oil. Okay, now the edible chrysanthemum leaves are not going to be left raw now. He's going to cook them. Mm, it's like a spinach, right? Fukuzan, go. Pardon the pun, but the challenger is cooking. He started on a fourth. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> a fourth oh, item. Wow. Let's see. We only have three minutes, 40 seconds left. How can he make it? Oh, no God. way. I've never seen this. Maybe he's going to fry something. I don't know That's of any chef way. who could come up with four dishes in just 30 minutes. Well, he's pulled out some sugar. Yeah? And he's got some other seasonings there. Oh, boy. A kind of dessert, maybe. Some no way at this beans. point. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Okay, this summit battle of Chinese cuisine. Interest in it nationwide with Chinese food gourmets, top chefs, as well as people in the hotel industry tuned in. And even near the end of overtime, still hotly contested. Both men going all out. Challenger Leon is really on a roll, attempting to finish a fourth dish in this, the waning moments of the extended overtime session. Three minutes to go. Notice he's become more talkative Fukuzan. in overtime. Yes, so to go. After starting his fourth dish, the challenger said, man, I'm on a roll. I may run out of time here, but I'm in the zone. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he looks to be totally in his element and at ease and putting something into the wok, which he has heated oil in oh, it right wow. now. Look Believe it or not, his fourth dish here. Boy, well, I wonder what he's trying to do here. Some kind of deep fry, it looks to be right now. Maybe braised pork after frying? No, there's no Maybe time not. for that, oh, is okay. there? Maybe there's not. There's no Maybe time for right. that at all. No time for anything, iron. really. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Chef is using his sesame sauce now. Yes, I caught a glimpse of uh, something with that sauce, some kind of sticks or something. Okay, now he's adding the finishing touch with sesame sauce. All right, and there is that sauce Fukuzan. up close. Go. In this bowl, the Iron Chef has fermented tofu, sesame and bean sauce, sugar, vinegar, and soy sauce. But he did not evidently add the fermented tofu to the meatball dish. Hmm. Okay. okay, well then he'll put it in this one. Well, okay, and did he, uh, as we move along now, Fukuzan. back to the Iron Chef? Yes, go ahead. From the Royal Box, we have some more comments from the challenger's brother. He says that the third dish, the salad, looks really good. I'm very impressed, so I know that the judges will be. All right, well... <laughs> He said five or six times today that his bro would win, but how about in overtime? He didn't have to come down and give any pointers this time. Without any help, he's trying to pull off a fourth dish. Right here, he's already got three done, and that, they look great. And the Iron Chef side now still scrambling, working on the ingredients for the salad with the vegetable sticks. Okay, now he's going to add the sesame sauce to this with the fermented tofu. Okay, Hattori, and so the Iron Chef has one, two, three dishes to offer, three dishes for him. And they came at a price. Look at that sweat. Oh, incredible. What a performance. He did it. The fourth dish in 29 <laughs> minutes. He's finished four in overtime after the pork belly battle, which could not produce a winner. We are nearing the end of the Konyaku battle. Another incredible duel with One these two. One minute left. The final 60 Fukuzan. seconds now. Yes. The challenger's fourth and final creation contains scallions, ginger, fried konyaku, salt, soy sauce, and bean sauce. All right. So it was lightly fried, and we'll call it a fried item, right? Yeah, you can get away with calling it that, sure. Okay, that fourth dish is done, and he's finished. What a chef. What an unbelievable performance. 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. Now the Iron Chef has completed his dishes, too, already washed up the challenger a few finishing touches both chefs really gave us a show today the long version big brother shunen's got to be impressed with his younger bros performance today to such go. a big stage and he delivered the iron chef what more could he do today ten he's given it his go. all 10 seconds leon going for the sake now the final six seconds, seconds ticking down and what will be remembered is a classic iron two, chef battle one. that's it they are done the overtime konyaku battle is over how was it? Well, the second time was not that difficult. You seemed almost uh, high out there. I was just playing around, having fun. Final uh, question. Do you think you've got it this time? Oh, when for sure. Oh, I'm, I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah? 30 minutes. Longer than I thought, though. Really? Good theme. No preparation needed, right? Lucky. So is it better oh, the second time around? I, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? But uh, no more overtime, please.
Challenger Leon is offering these four dishes. First, konyaku salad, lightly prepared with Cantonese red vinegar and red wine dressing. The savory aroma and texture begins a new adventure. Second, stir-fried konyaku and pepper. While putting together several different textures, he's added a splendid flavor with the thick crab meat sauce. Third, hot and spicy konyaku and ham. Hot and spicy bean sauce and garlic provide a fiery sensation, while the saltiness of Chinese ham ties it together. Last is stir-fried konyaku, Japanese flavor. Soy sauce is added to enhance the pleasing taste, and he's cleverly calculated the effect of scallions. Iron Chef Chen has three dishes. First, sliced konyaku hors d'oeuvre. The sauce, a blend of fermented tofu, plus hot and spicy and sesame sauces, is an original and makes the dish a Chen Kenichi creation. Second, stewed konyaku and meatballs. The dish was stewed in Chinese rice wine the entire cooking process, and for aroma, the chicken meatballs contain a Chinese liqueur. Last, diced konyaku salad. The konyaku and the bitter tang of chrysanthemum leaves create a perfect harmony in this dish. Heated olive oil adds the magical finishing touch. The Pork Belly Battle Verdict. Judges deadlocked, tied in total points, we go to overtime. The Leon Brothers, the leaders of Chinese cuisine chefs in Japan. It's Leon Shuking, the younger of the brothers, who's the challenger in Kitchen Stadium. In the ultimate battle, he's trying to knock off Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. After the Pork Belly Battle ends in a tie, Chairman Kaga unveils the overtime theme ingredient, Konyaku. The challenger produces an amazing four dishes in 30 minutes. The Iron Chef will have to make every one of his three dishes count. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel for the overtime once again are Lower House member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Keiko Saito, actor Yoshizumi Ishihara, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, Challenger Leon's dishes. I'm used to it now. I didn't feel so much pressure. Uh, first time I was a little nervous. Really? Yes, uh, I used red wine and Chinese red vinegar, sweet and sour in taste, to enhance the taste of the vegetables. After all those pork dishes, I'm really very impressed with the way that you are starting with your courses. Red wine and vinegar, many different flavors, yet it's so subtle, it makes me completely forget about the pork. <laughs> I tried to give you a refreshing dish. Yeah, this really cools me down, really. It's just like the Chinese almond milk jelly dessert, that made a bit more subtle and finished into a salad. Uh, this is just wonderful. Yes, crab. This is a typical Cantonese dish. Fantastic! The texture of the konyaku and the vegetables matches very well. It's very nice. As you mentioned, this is the core of Cantonese cooking. I agree, you have many ingredients included here. It's very colorful. And the crab certainly does its job in flavoring. Very enjoyable. Yes, Chinese ham. I'm going against the Szechuan chef, so I used a hot and spicy sauce for this one. I also used a type of mushroom, konyaku, and some vegetables. I don't feel like I'm eating konyaku. Excellent technique. It's very good. I never thought mushrooms and konyaku would match this well. For me, this Chinese ham is a bit too salty. I would have liked it more if you could have controlled the saltiness and made it purely a hot and spicy dish. Would have been better. Mm. At first, when served, you can see that this has the same volume of a main course. And it's fun to look at, too. The taste, yes, I do also feel it's a bit too salty. The last dish, the stir-fried with the Japanese flavor, is served by the challenger. Just soy sauce, very simple. 
You only had around three minutes when you started all of this. I was going to question your intentions, but this is incredible. I never imagined something like this. The konyaku itself is not anything special. It makes me feel like I could do this, but I know I can't. It's really complex and intricate. Really delicate. You know, I could use the same ingredients, but it's his sense and skill to stop at this point. Simply, this is a piece of art. During the overtime battle, his moves were very smooth. I felt he was enjoying everything he was doing, and that's reflected in these dishes. He's not just a chef, he's almost superhuman. It's really wonderful. I thought it was excellent. And now, Iron Chef Chen's dishes. It was tough. I also had to think about the tasters after eating all the pork dishes, but honestly, I had no time to think, so the standard dishes came to my mind first. This is a unique taste, it's thick and profound. It is, as usual, very well done. Nothing to say. It's simple, yet very complex. But I'm getting full now. <laughs> I, I do agree that to really enhance the konyaku, the sauce, it has to be this complex. Yeah, because it's konyaku. Mm. This sauce could be used for almost anything, don't you think? It's a versatile sauce, I think, and it's very good. Yes, a standard dish, braised in soy sauce. In Szechuan cooking, we use uh, duck meat, but 30 minutes is just not enough for duck meat. Well, I think the konyaku is a bit too large, and so it hasn't absorbed as much flavor as you had intended on. For me, if the konyaku were in smaller pieces, because the sauce is very thick, I may not want to finish it. I like this because it is cut in larger pieces, and I think it's really good this way. It's just right. She's right about that. If the pieces were too small, it would taste too heavy. It was easy to eat and very tasty, I thought. The final dish, the salad, is served by the Iron Chef himself. Well, I thought Chinese ham would be too salty for this dish, so uh, I used bacon and I cut the konyaku into small dices. It's very nice dancing around in my mouth. In this dish, the konyaku is playing second fiddle. It's nice, so after getting a bit tired of eating it, the bitterness puts us back into a mood to enjoy the konyaku once again. Mm, it's a really nice use of chrysanthemum leaves, too. You know, I believe this man has been calculating what we've been eating all day. This is truly a great and a very charming dish to end this course. Well, I'm saying it again. This judgment will boil down to a matter of personal preference, not a matter of who is better than the other. You know, it's been an unforgettable battle. Tough decision. What am I going to do? The final verdict moments away. The sparks flew for the second time in Kitchen Stadium today, the gods of Chinese cuisine decreeing overtime. Challenger Leon, the Cantonese king, finding reserves of strength as the battle wore on, pushing the Iron Chef right to the edge of the Chinese cuisine summit. Can he push him off? Or can Chen, the Sejuan sage, make a last heroic stand? Who will take this battle? It's the challenger. Leon Chu King wins it in a battle for the ages, capturing the victory in overtime. Certainly no disgrace for Chen losing this one. He gave it everything, but it's the Leon brothers together. They're on top of the Chinese Cuisine Summit. Okay, let's check the scoring. Kurimoto, 1918 challenger. Saito, 1918 iron chef. 
Ishihara 2019 Challenger, Hosoki 1817 Challenger. Three to one, Leon takes the overtime battle, the ultimate battle of Chinese chefs, an exhausting day. And finally, Leon Chu King managing to pin the Iron Chef and take him down. Leon Chu King and Brother Shuning, for you guys, it'll be fame forever. I was impressed with his taste and creativity. The display was so nice, too. There was something I also took into consideration in my judgment. Chen's dishes were so perfect, too, but the final dish the challenger made, even without planning, was just so astonishing. I guess that's the only difference I saw. Chen Ichi is a great cook. At one point, I thought my brother might lose, but my brother really did well today.